Alrighty guys, the arena is officially done. And uh, this is not at all a how to build an arena type of video. It's just a little video I put together of the process that I went through. And uh, just some clips of, yeah, how, how I did it and how it went. So, I guess to start out with, right over here at this end, there's a whole big pile of dirt right here. Well, we're getting there. Just took a huge pile of dirt that was right there. Put it in there, it took me about all day. And then over here on this edge, I had to add a whole bunch of dirt. And before I could add any dirt, I had to scrape out a whole bunch of uh, stuff that was right here because there was a hay feeder there and the cows were there and it was just a big mess. So I had to scrape out a bunch of, bunch of nasty stuff. And then I had to raise up this, I don't know, maybe two and a half or three feet. You can sorta, of, it's kinda of hard to see. But, this edge I had to raise it up a lot. So that was, that took a lot of excavating. Yeah, I had to raise this all up. A lot. And then I had to raise this up some here too to get it flat. And then after that I made the mistake of putting the sand right on top of the clay and that just did not work at all. Well guys, this is taking a lot more effort and a lot more thinking and time than I was hoping. But, I just got done kind of making sure there was no sand out here. I made the mistake of putting sand straight on top of clay. And that did not go so well. It just held the moisture in and stayed wet for a long time. This ground is like a brick when it's dry, but as soon as it got wet, it just turned gooey and nasty. So after that, I scraped all the sand back off. And then what I did was I put four tile in here, going this way, like one there, one there, one there, and one there. So there's four tile in there like this. And they're all connected to one that goes along this edge and comes out right there and just runs out on the ground. So, put four tile in there, filled the trenches up with pea gravel.
Well, y'all, not sure how much it rained, but it rained a good bit last night. All the tiles are in, thankfully before the rain. And we're gonna have to order some more pea gravel. Cause it didn't have quite enough to fill them all up. But we've got one tile going down there, another tile there, another tile there, and another one at the end. So four tiles in about 70 feet. And one, they're all connected to that one that runs out the end. And then after that, we'll put down some uh, landscaping fabric and then we put down it's called number 73 limestone and then i put fines limestone fines on top of that and then pack that all good and i'll throw some clips in of that Alrighty, guys update on the horse arena project <laughs> um me and my brother just went over it with the transit kind of use an old transit you have to have a, two people to do it. it has a stick and then a scope and we went over this whole thing pretty much just there's five rows like one two three four five and then there's you know four tile so I just went down the middle of each one and every one is like about within an inch of what I'm wanting so I figure that's good enough because I'll have all that limestone to put on so, getting excited. This is, the stone's almost all out. Well, I just got it packed. Went over a total of probably four times with that thing. Total of about eight hours of packing. Yeah, it took a while. But anyway, got it packed. I gotta go return this thing now. And I'm still trying to figure out if this is gonna be all right, because See, there's some loose stone and it doesn't take a whole lot to ruffle it up. So I'm just trying to figure out if that's going to be alright or if we need to put some fines out here. Catch y'all later. Well guys, we had another change of plans. <laughs> Seems like that's the way it's been going lately. But it was just too much loose gravel out here and I didn't like it. So I ordered two loads of um, like fines, probably like called like either stone sand or ag lime or I think it's pretty much all the same thing it's just the fines of like gravel or whatever and so I still got some there I put a little skift out here I'm gonna go over it with the little vibrator and just shake it all down in water it let that hard and then put the rest on top and I think we'll be a lot better off because before there was places just like this it would get packed hard but it would just come up really easy and I didn't want that in my sand like the horse is punching through the sand and doing that so we're putting this stuff down and it gets really nice and firm and then we'll put sand on top of that but that's the plan so far we keep having changes of plans but anyway we'll get at it Got the final coat on, getting her packed down, got it watered, and there's not really any left. And then after that, for the footing I had sand, just like a washed concrete sand. And I did not like how that worked for me. It was just too soft, gived way too much for my liking. I'm no professional, but, and uh, right here it is. Still have some left over. It just, it just didn't pack good enough for my, for me. So I made another mistake of putting it all out there and then I didn't like it. So I scraped off about an inch and a half to two inches of the sand to where there was just a little bit of sand left out there. Then I ordered in some uh, 
stone sand, I think is what they call it. It's basically just limestone stuff. And it gets really hard if it gets wet. People said you could put clay with it and whatnot, but I was like, I didn't feel like putting clay with it because I was worried it'd just stay wet too long. So I did some experimenting with this stuff and figured that'd be my best option and it was really cheap too. So I mixed that in with it and then I'd put some sand in and then I just kind of play with it. And I think I got about the perfect mixture for my liking right now. So it just has a really nice texture to it. So right now there's probably a good three to three and a quarter inches out here of sand mixed with this limestone stone sand or whatever you can see it just you get it in your hand and it just it's, it's it packs pretty good and you, but yeah you can keep it loose because if you had all all stone sand it'd be too hard but with the mixture of mixture of it just like my foot you step and it just holds you First ride out here in the arena. I've been using it now for a month or two and I'm really liking it. It's a 70 by 100 and I definitely would enjoy a bigger one, but it'll definitely do the trick for now, so. I guess I should mention that there's a, it's like about a six inch drop right here, from right here to right over there, it's about a six inch fall. That's six inches lower than right there just so the water can, can run out, but yet there's tile under there that it can go down to the tile, and uh, yeah. So that's my arena, how I build it. Nothing professional, just watched about every video, read about every article there is on arenas. <laughs> Talked to a couple guys. That's also what helped me out a lot too, is I had a couple guys that have experience in arenas, and. I think I about talked their heads off, but really appreciate their time they gave to me. And uh, yeah, just really enjoying it. Happy to have it done. It was a lot of work and thinking, but really loving it. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you later.